Hey, what's good, fellas? Welcome to this presentation. Today, I want to give you some dating concepts that I wish they would have gave us in school, but they didn't. However, I'm going to share these concepts with you now so you can apply them where you are and it will make a huge benefit in your life. So the first one is if we go back to school, right? We go back to high school or middle school and we really look at it. You'll see that there were certain guys in school who were getting the girls, right? And if we really look at that, you know, why were those guys or that guy getting the girls? Like what, what was he demonstrating that was so attractive to these girls? And when I really think about it, if we look at, if you look at your high school days or your middle school days as a movie, that guy who was getting the girls, if you look at it, he was the coolest character in the movie, right? He was the most popular character in the movie. He was, he was demonstrating the most valuable traits out of all the characters in the movie. So when I think about that, I'm like, okay, so if you want to be attractive to women, you have to become a cool character in your, your movie. Your life is a movie. You got to see your life as a movie and you got to ask yourself, is the character I'm playing or the role I'm playing in my movie, is it the leading role? Is this the star role? Is this the guy that people would be entertained to watch in the movie or is this just a, an extra? Or just one of the side characters or whatever. You want to be, you know, the, the star character in your movie. So your character needs to be cool. You know, like you need to have like, what what's cool about your character? You need to actually know what that is. Like, is it the way your character looks? Is it the way he carries himself? Is it his communication? Is it his lifestyle? Like what? You got to have some elements about your character that are attractive, that are interesting, right? Like, you want to show up as the guy who people want to be around. You want to be that, whatever that, however that popular guy was in school, you want to become that in your life, but your own version of that. And if you think about it, a lot of it is just, you know, you being grounded in your character. Like, you actually have to love the character you're playing. You actually have to, like, really enjoy the character you're playing because there's a certain energy, there's a certain vibe that comes across. And women can feel it. Women are very in touch with feelings. So we got to get good at creating the feeling, the right feeling in the woman. She needs to feel strength. She needs to feel power. She needs to feel joy. She needs to feel, but it needs to come from you. These, these feelings need to come from you. You need to somehow transfer these feelings to the woman. Because that's what they're addicted to. Like that guy that she can't get enough of is because that guy is really good at giving her the feelings that she craves, the emotions that she craves. So the better you are at creating emotions for people, the more attractive you become. Because if you think about it, all we're really doing throughout our day is trying to get, to good, get away from bad feelings and go towards good feelings. Am I right or wrong? That's all we're doing. Every single day is the same shit. How can I have a good... People want to have a good day. People want to be happy. People want, That's all people are trying to do. So if you can get really good at giving that to women, you'll start to become more attractive. Now you just have to hold sexual energy because you can easily... I can see a guy taking this advice but then being too friendly about it. Like you have to be, sec, you have to be a sexual man. You can't be... Um, apologizing for your masculinity or apologizing for having a dick. You got to embrace that shit. You got to walk up to women and look them in the eye like, I'm the type of guy that will fuck you real good. Now, you don't say that, but that has to be your vibe or else she's going to put you in a friend zone, right? It's, it's not a bad thing to be a masculine man who's sexual. You just don't go around saying it. Like, I don't go around telling girls I'm trying to fuck them. I just have that attitude. I have that vibe. My character says it. The girl can see it in my eyes. She can see it in the way I carry myself. I don't have to say it. I don't have to say shit. It's the vibe. It's the energy. So you want to get really good at creating these vibes, at creating this energy, man. Your character needs to be cool as fuck, man. 
You need to design a character. When you watch movies, whatever characters that you like to see in a movie, design yourself to be similar to that because there's a reason why you admire that because you want to be like that, right? Or maybe you already have it in you. You just haven't unleashed it, right? You're still playing small ball. You got to play big ball. You got to, you know, step up and take on the leading role in your movie and the star role. Stop being an extra. Stop being a, a side player, you know, a role player. Start being the star role in your movie. You know, start demonstrating your value. Like, what, what is great? What are you great at? If you're not great at anything, if you don't have any great qualities, anything about you that is above average, you need to start working on that. You need to start cultivating your gifts, cultivating your talents, cultivating your skills. You can't just show up and just ha and show up and have nothing good going for you. Girls can do that. Girls can do that. They can just show up with no value because they're they're pretty, right? That's their value. They're pretty and they have tits. But as a guy, you can't just show up and and, and say, "Hey, I'm I have a dick." You know that's not good enough because women can get dick very very easily. However, they can't get the star player. You know the 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 star. Um, you know, the main character in the movie, they get the side characters, right? The side character is the one who will settle down with the woman. But yeah, they can get dick from the star the star um, player, you know, the star character. But it doesn't mean that he's going to actually date them. So women women are getting rejected. Like, yeah, they get sex, no problem. But as far as rela the relationship they want, they don't always get that. So you show up. You want to show up as the guy who... He's boyfriend material, but he's also a badass that doesn't give a fuck. Like, that's what makes you deadly. Because usually it's one or the other. It's usually either a guy's just boyfriend material, or he's just friend zone material, or he's just a bad boy, right? But he's missing other elements. You want to be the guy that combines these elements together, so now you show up a whole different breed. That's how you beat the competition. Like... Yeah, I used to be shy and stuff like that, but there's a part of me that's happy that I used to be shy because I developed this ability to these these certain um, skills that you develop when you're shy, right? I'm a good listener, right? I'm able to kind of relax and I don't have to talk. I don't have to be talking all the time. I can lip, sit back and relax and enjoy the moment. You know, I'm good at handling tension. I'm good at, um, you know what I mean, like, Letting people voice their opinion and, and actually staying on topic with what they want to talk about and not forcing my agenda, right? These are all qualities, but I also bring that edge. I also bring that assertiveness. I bring that grounded masculinity. I bring that leadership. I bring that sexuality. I bring all these other qualities. So now she's like, whoa, who is this guy? You got to show up and fascinate the girl. And not just the girl. I fascinate everyone, man. Show up and just... Man, just show up as a beast. Stop showing up as like a regular dude that's just, ah, uh, you know, just going through the day. Design your character. Design yourself into a freaking, into a beast, man. Into whatever, into an emperor, into a king, into a superhero, into a, you know what I mean? Something of power, something of greatness. Right? That's the, that's the advice, man. I'm going to go into one other one. Here's another thing that's attractive to women. A guy who, who knows where he's going in life. You got to get clear on your purpose, man. You got to get clear on where are you going. What's your vision? Because women, women are looking for a leader. They're looking for a man to follow. right? Women will follow you if you're going somewhere. But you got to be going somewhere like prosperous, right? Like you have to, you're, where you're going... It needs to be a higher quality of life, a better quality of life. So if you're shooting for a higher income, that's your vision. That's your and, and speak about it. Talk about it. You know, when you're talking to a woman, tell her about your future. Tell her about your vision. Tell her where you're going so she can look at you and say, oh, wow. So if I get with him, this is where I'd be heading. Right. That's the that's part of the seduction. She wants to go on a journey. That's how you see certain guys will show up and they don't really have a lot going on for them. But they're actually going somewhere though. You know, maybe they have, maybe they play guitar or they sing or whatever and they're moving in their career and that's what the girl's interested in. She sees that he's going somewhere, right? Like she has to, she has to see like a, an experience. She has to get an understanding, okay, if I get with this guy, there's certain experiences I'm going to get, which means certain emotions. 
She wants a roller coaster. Right? So we got to get really good at creating these experiences, man. We got to get really good at being clear on where we're going and just lead. Don't wait for anybody to follow you. Just lead and people will follow. The right people will come because they will see. You just have to get really clear on where you're going. Because the more clearer you go, the more polarizing you become. Which means you'll repel the wrong people, but you'll attract the right people. And when the right people show up, you say, hey, come on for the journey. I know where I'm going, though. Just follow my lead. Don't tell me what to do. Don't try to get in the way. Just follow my lead. If you want to support, support. That's great. But I'm going. And that energy is attractive. Right? So, so I'm going to just give you two. I don't want to make this video too, uh, too long. Um, the first one is create yourself into an amazing character. See your life as a movie. See yourself as a star leading role in your movie. How can you make your character, if you're watching a movie, how can you make him aesthetic? How can you make him powerful? How can you make him amazing? How can you make him attractive, sexy, exciting? You know? So that's the first one, designing your character. And then the second one is having, a, being a man of purpose, being a man of a vision, being a man who knows where he's going, right? A man who's assertive, a man who's penetrating forward. He's moving forward because he has a goal, he has a vision, and he knows where he's going, and people need to just get the fuck out of the way because he's not going to stop, right? And that's your power. That, and that is attractive to women because that's masculine energy. Masculine energy attracts feminine energy. The more you go into this, the more attractive you become. And you can't break. When the woman shows up, don't break. That's where guys mess up. The woman shows up and then all of a sudden they stop focusing on their purpose and they start focusing on a woman. Don't focus on a woman. You, let, you tell her, hey, you can come along for the journey. That's the vibe. She wants to compliment you. She doesn't want you to change your focus to her. And she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She's chaos. Feminine energy is chaos. She doesn't know what the hell to do. She's looking for you to be leader, a leader. She's looking to follow you. That's what women want. We've been brainwashed to think that women want us to put them on a pedestal and make her a queen and give up our lives for her. She doesn't want that shit. She wants a king that's, you know, acquiring more uh, territory and building his kingdom. You know, a king who's slaying the dragon and she she wants the king to come home and fuck her real good. That's what they want, man. I'm telling you, it's just that if they say that shit, then they're going to get shamed for, yo, she's a slut, she's a hoe, she's a this, right? That's why they don't say that. But when you really get, uh, you know, you, you create these connections with women and you get close to them, they'll, you'll see how they respond. They, when, they, when a man is masculine and he's grounded and he's assertive and he has a vision and he's sexy and he doesn't give a fuck. These women, they, man, they love that shit, man. They start responding to you very well. So that's a clue. You pay attention to, to what they respond to. Not what they say. Pay attention to what they respond to. And we all know they respond to that bad boy. They love that bad boy. They love that guy that doesn't give a fuck. They love that king. That guy that carries himself like a king. That guy who has unbreakable confidence. They love that shit. So you got to become that. Evolve into that. Start unleashing that. Forget about the old identity. The old identity, if you're if you don't, if you not getting the women that you want right now, you need to tap into this new beast that I'm talking about. This new identity, this new character. Because this is the character that gets women. And not just women. This is a character that gets power. This is a character that gets money. This is a character that gets respect. Right? This is a character that gets the life that he wants to live. There's so much more to it. I just talk about women because... Hey, we're we're healthy men. We love women, okay? Straight up. But I, that doesn't mean that you, this stuff doesn't carry over to other areas of your life. When you get confident and powerful with women, that energy carries over to all areas of your life. That's why I actually, you know, see the value in this stuff. Because if it was just, if I put my time and energy into getting good with women and it only applied to women, to me, that wouldn't, that's not worth it. It's all the other benefits that come with this. When you get good with women, your confidence goes up. Your self-esteem goes up. You become more grounded in your masculinity. You start respecting yourself more. You start loving yourself more. And guess what? That carries over to all areas of your life. Now you just become a freaking beast. And nobody can stop you. So that's if that's what you want, then apply this information in this video. 
if you'd like one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you'd like to work together, if you're tired of the bullshit, if you're tired of going in circles, tired of trying to figure shit out and you're not getting it or whatever, and you just want support, guidance, accountability, you want the action steps and you want results, hit me up. I have a program. It's called the Unbreakable Beast Program. I help you to become unbreakable in your confidence, unbreakable in your spirit, unbreakable in your frame, unbreakable in your character, and sexy and attractive to women, sexy and attractive to your goals. You attract your goals. You manifest your goals, right? And you're done with the, the bullshit. You're done with the average, below average, kind of settling and all that stupid shit. You're going after your goals. You're going after your dreams and making that shit happen. It's a different energy. This is the beast energy, okay? If you want to tap into that and you'd like my help, hit me up. I'll give you the details. The program is $9.97. It's an eight-week program. We're working together for eight weeks. That's two months. More than enough time for you to become a beast if you follow the process, right? Because we're not going to be bullshit. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do, and all you got to do is just apply it. And you tell me what your goal is. You let me know, hey, Trey, this is, what, this is my goal. This is what I'd like to achieve. I've been struggling with this, but I believe with your help, I can make it happen. I'll be like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Right, so if you're interested, hit me up. I'll give you the details. Thanks for watching. Peace.